What's up guys, and in this video, yes, you saw the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be playing Knocked the Totem. I've never played this map, or I've never visually seen anyone play this map, I think. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Alright, so, oh, never mind, I've seen people play this map. This is like from Black Ops, oh no, it's from World at War 1, I'm pretty sure. I, I have no idea, but I remember it people, it's either this map, or, um, oh, I forgot the map's name, oh, I hate it, don't, don't you just hate it when you forget the name of something, it, it just really sucks, but this map looks awesome, absolutely love it, let's kill a couple of zombies, and place down your uh, guesses in the comment section down below on what round you think I'll make it to, I know in the last uh, video, I got to rack around 11 due to ammo conditions. I hope I survive longer this game because all oh, this video <laughs> because I really want to ha give you guys like a long video because we all love long videos over here. Well, I do. I love um, editing long videos. It's always a blast. It always just wrecks every brain cell of my body. Um, oh shit, we're... Okay. Oh, the mystery box is right here. Oh, that's cool. I, okay. Um, now, I'm pretty sure this map doesn't have Pack-A-Punch. Um, I may be wrong about that, actually. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll open up every single door on this map and see if there's a Pack-A-Punch. But if there isn't a Pack-A-Punch, we're going to use a Gobble Gum to... Um, do a pack a punch. We're gonna get crate power, and whatever uh, gun we get from the mystery box, that's the gun we're gonna be stuck with for the rest of the game. I think that's just a thing now that I do. If there's no pack a punch, this is a really cool map. I don't know if I've said it before, but the the lighting and everything, it just feels like a, an actual zombie apocalypse. Like this place has been here for over two thousand years or some shit. Oh, it's, it's, this, you know what this place reminds me of? Like, I know it's like a weird thing to remind of. Um, it reminds me of the Titanic, because, um, the Titanic, like, sunk, like, over a hundred years ago, and it's at the bottom of the ocean at the moment. Well, obviously. I don't know why I decided just to bring up the Titanic randomly. I think it was just on my mind. But the Titanic is, like, I like history it's so cool but i sort of wish in school they didn't jam it down my throat <laughs> the, the only history i care about is the pyramids of egypt um and the titanic those are the only two history things i care about or care for just just because they're really cool i've watched uh like a bunch of documentaries, the Titanic and the appearance of Egypt or Giza, I forgot a bit what their actual title is. One day I want to study like the Egyptian, um, you know, the Egyptian uh, lettering and all the rest of it, that'll be pretty cool. Oh, what's in the box? I've clearly forgot about the mystery box. Uh, let's see what we get, not the box, 360 ray gun. Never mind, we got the Shiva. I don't even know if this is good. Place that in the comment section if this gun is good. Because I have no idea if it's good or not. You know what I forgot to say at the start of the, start of the video? Subscribe, like, and comment um, down below. Because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the video. Uh, not the end of the video. At the end of the year. So, um, yeah. I know you guys can make that possible. Where the hell is this last zombie at? My god. I hate how the zombies when play, play hide and seek and like there's nowhere to be found. Ooh, there he is. Hey, buddy. If you comment on one of my videos, I will shout you out in the next video. And if I ever get to over a hundred comments on a video, I'm still gonna shout every single one of them. Um, I'm just not gonna be saying their names. I'm just gonna be putting it on like a on like a spreadsheet at the end of the video, like a 10 second spreadsheet at the end of the video. It's so uh, people feel more happy when they're commenting. And the Wonder Fizz is right here. We have some bad memories with the Wonder Fizz. Uh, if you guys don't know, in the, in the not last year, but the 
your video before, I think, when we were playing King of the Toten. Um, I got the same three perks three bloody times from this one to Fizz. I got Speed Collar, Widow's Wind, and Deadshot. It was just the worst luck possible. I mean, Widow's Wind is good, and Speed Collar is good. It's Damn Up is good. But, Deadshot? That's a terrible perk in general, really. Like, controller players already have aim assist. We don't need a, a dead shot daiquiri. You know what I remember? I remember this map uh, being in transit. You guys remember that? Uh, it was in the cornfield. It, I, I don't know if you guys uh, seen it in the cornfield, but, you know, it's in the cornfield. I'll pop up a photo on screen of it being in the cornfield. As you can't like buy doors in it and all the rest of it. You can only explore the bottom part because of how damaged Knock the Toten is. I think I said that right. But it's such a such a cool area just to just to be in. I really hope in Black Ops 6 that they remaster a couple of maps that they didn't remaster in Black Ops 6. Like I really want them to remaster Hear me out, Nuketown Zombies. A small map with perks dropping every now and again. Such as a challenging but not challenging map, if you get what I mean. Your survival is based off luck. Like, you you can get um, Juggernaut on round 20 or round 5. You can even get the uh, freaking Pack-a-Punch on round 7 if, if you get that lucky. It's all about luck, really. That's why I really like um, Nuketown Zombies. I'm going to have to play that again. It's just such a blast to just rely everything off luck. Should we buy the Wonder Fizz? I have some bad luck with the Wonder Fizz, or bad memories with the Wonder Fizz. Should I? I could, but nah, I'm not going to. Uh, since this map doesn't have Pack-a-Punch, which is quite obvious, because this map is pretty small. Bin the gobble gum real quick. Let's see what we get, ladies and gentlemen. We got wall power. Interesting. You know what? We're going to use it. Let's find a random... What is this? The th No, not back a punch in the thorough. I know it's bloody terrible. Uh, what about this one? Uh, KN44, that's 1,400. Locust. No, I'm not buying the Locust. The Locust is a sniper, if you didn't know. I know that because I used to play Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer and I only used the Locust. Because I used to only use snipers in um, Call of Duty because it was snipers or nothing really with me back in the day. So I, was, I was one of those wannabe uh, trick shotters that try to hit a trick shot but never hit a trick shot. I've hit a couple of cool trick shots in the past. Like, I'll show a couple of trick shots up on screen that I've hit. Oh my god, it's already starting to get head dick. Um. <clears throat> I, you guys didn't see that. You guys definitely didn't see that. Nope. Mm -mm, nope. Definitely not. Wait, we're redoing this. We're redoing a run. I definitely didn't die. You guys didn't see anything. Not at all. I, no, I refuse. I refuse to die on round five. Actually, no, what are you talking about? I didn't even die on round five. I just want you, you'd never die. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, the, the inner thoughts are getting to me. I don't know. Um, let's just cut straight to, um, yeah, where, where we're at. Alright, we're finally back at round 5. That took a hot minute. Um, but yeah, what's the uh, spin the Wonder Fizz? Let's see what we get. And... Oh yes, we got Jug! Oh my god, what a luck. Yes. The Widow's Wind, Deadshot Daiquiri, and Stamina Up Curse is broken. Yes! <laughs> yeah, I've no idea how happy I am now. I've seen a lot of people camp this quarter with like a pack of punch gun, but we we ain't going camp. We're going to run around. We're going to have some fun. Uh, we're going to get crate power from the gobble gum. I think the one mistake I want 
I did last game was hesitating to pick up a wall buy. Um, and yeah, throwing a grenade at my feet. That was also another bad, bad thing that I did. There's a lot of like mistakes that you see in your gameplay. Like after you die, <laughs> you don't think about like the consequences as soon as like, when you're doing the um, mistakes. It's already starting to get hectic on round five. It's ridiculous on how hectic it gets on round five. Uh, let's go on quickly, um, hit the gobble gum machine and see if we can get crate power. And same rules as last game, whatever it, um, gun I get from the gobble gum machine is what I have to use for the remainder of this game. So I really hope, I pray to my box luck that it's good. If it's the ray gun, I don't know what, I'll, what I'm going to do. Is the ray gun even on this map? I know in the original World at War that, ah, uh, oopsie, I wasn't supposed to hit that, but, double tap, yep, okay, we ballin' over here now, we ballin', double tap is such a good perk to get, uh, what, oh yeah, there it is, I'm legally blind, I swear to god, uh, let's see what we got, we got a purple one, we got anywhere but here, we do not need that, we want crate power, but because it's a mega bubble, Gobble gum is going to. Uh, we need a lot of good luck to get it. Once we get the four per four main perks. Oh my god, nuke! Let's go. That's actually. I don't even need the points, but you know. Uh, let's spin this after it changes over. Yep. Uh, let's see what we got. Another purple gu gobble gum. In plain sight. Okay, cool. Let's see what we get, ladies and gentlemen. Widow's wine. Yes. Okay. And then we just need speed collar. That's all we need. And we've got the god tier perks. Four god tier perks. Not even joking. Widow's Wind is so good for a close quarters map. Because what it does is it um, stuns it stuns your enemies when they hit you. And you have up to four per round. I'm pretty sure I may not be correct. It's just such a good perk. In my opinion, it's one of the best perks that COD has ever released. Same with uh, Double Tap. Jug Every ev everyone like says that Juggernaut is the best perk ever to be created. I say no to that. Um, I shouldn't have gotten hit. Excuse me. That was absolute bullshit. I lost one of my goddamn grenades because he because of that zombie. It's starting to get really hectic and the lighting on this map is good, but sometimes the zombies blend in and I have to really concentrate. We need to hit the mystery box after this game. Oh, after this round, sorry. Uh, should we? Yeah, might as well. Uh, we'll see what we got. We got this, okay, cool. Cray pal, let's go. Poggers. Now let's spin the box, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we got. Nata box, 360, and Wonder Weapon. What? Okay. Why? Every single time I use crate power, I get a bloody LMG. It's just a curse at this point. Ugh, I didn't want an LMG for my backup bunch gun, but I can't go back on my word and, and you know not pick it up. We really need speed collar with this gun. No way we, we will survive long enough. Oh my god. This is... Yeah. Well, at least we're on round 7. We we got past round 5. That is a plus for me. Since this map gets really hectic really quickly, I my guess is that I will survive until... I'm going to say round 15. That is my one guess. If the first game is an indicator on how this map is, yeah, I'm only going to be surviving to round 15. Because close quarters... Bro, how the hell did you hit me, bro? I know I run slowly with, with, with this LMG, but damn, I didn't know I run that slowly. Having an LMG on this map is not a good thing because of, because of how slow you run with the said LMG. I mean, it's okay, I guess, for ammo. It's good for seeing corners and destroying big, big, like, trains. It's not good to run around with, unless you have stamina. 
Even then, it's not good to run around with. Now let's reload real quick. Um, is it me or does this reload take longer than the dingo's reload? And they're probably around about the same. Uh, let's see if we can get speed collar, ladies and gentlemen. We need speed collar. That, that is the one thing we need. Come on, speed collar, speed collar, speed collar. Oh, okay, you just can't make this up. I am the, the, I have the best luck possible. Let's go. What's that? Let's get uh, on the house, shall we? Ah, we already got it. Let's go. As soon as I said something about it, we got it. Uh, activate it. Okay. Creeper. Quick revive. Yes! Oh, that is... Okay. We are balling right now. We got the five best perks in the game. How good. <laughs> This is actually such a good setup. I, I changed my vibe. We might, oh, we might make it to round 16, maybe. Let's see how quick the reload is now. Uh, about three seconds. <laughs> Give or take three seconds. Oh my god, they creep up on you really quickly. I have like no audio on these guys. Not fun. Oh, no, you don't get four hits per game, per round. You, you get more, um, if you get like those spider things, you get more grenades, which is pretty dope. This LMG is putting in work, mind you. Bin the double gum machine. After it transfers over to free. Yep, it's cool. Okay, we, we don't need this. We really don't need wall power. I don't know why the double gum machine insists on me having wall power. No, last game I wasn't even able to use the wall power double gum, and I lost the wall power double gum. Bruh. <laughs> you have no idea how annoyed I was. But it's fine. I can always get more, um, wall power double gum. Okay, so at the moment we're doing okay-ish. I mean, the, another good thing with the LMGs is that they have a high amount of bullets. So, a higher chance on getting max ammo. Um, which is good, because the more zombies you kill, the more of a chance you have, uh, max ammo. Which, I just broke into existence, so I just need to reload real quick. And know, uh, since we have Widow's Wind, I, I th honestly th hope that we make it to round 20. But, I don't think we're going to make it to round 20. Because, yet again, this close quarters map, I hate them. It is a good map. If you high round this map, you can brag to your friends all day and all night, and, th and they'll be like, "Okay, cool." But if you high round on a map like Town, people they'll be and, and you're like, "Oh, look, I made it to like round 30 on Town." They're like, oh, "Okay, do better." <laughs> I reckon my friends would be able to like high round it on this map easy. Maybe I don't know. None of my friends play the old um. Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. They played in new new zombies like Cold War. Um, we don't talk about Vanguard. Vanguard sucks. Modern Warfare 3 zombies. It's actually not too bad. People give it a lot of hate, but it's actually not too bad. In my opinion. Like I've I've grown used to it because of how much I've played it. Because of how small this map is, the zombies come to you quicker, which makes the rounds go by faster, which is a good thing. That means this video is not going to be that long. I hope. Because then I'm going to be, because I still got to edit the video. <laughs> I should add more memes in, like, in amongst the video, like random memes here and there. I think that's just a new thing I'm going to have. I'm just, just going to put memes throughout the video for people to just to uh, look at. Oh, oh crap. Oh, sh oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, no way. Okay, that's, that's actually a really bad thing to happen. Really bad, really bad, really bad. Oh my golly god. That was a really bad down right there. What? I, I, how the hell did I just die to? I probably died to a crawler. 
<sighs> okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. As always, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.